Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Pokemon Go. So I know you are all very excited, so let's start seeing everything that has changed in the USA beta. So first thing, as you start the game, now in the Pokemon shop, you start with 2500 free coins. Now I don't know if this will go into the actual game, but for the beta, they are giving you a bonus of 2,500 Pokecoins. Now once you do start buying items from the shop, the values suddenly start going up. So guys, once you do purchase an item, make sure you purchase a bulk item. This way, you avoid spending a lot of money on little items. One very curious item is the incubator. Many have asked me, well, why would you need an incubator? Well guys, you do have a free incubator made on your game that is unbreakable. But on the incubator, you may only place one egg. So if you have more than one egg and you want to count the distance to hatch it, you will need extra incubators. Now the extra incubators will break after five uses. So guys, you have to plan wisely and if you don't have extra eggs, just using the regular incubator will do just fine. Now the reports have come in that using Lucky Egg and Incense with all of those coins right at the beginning will level up extremely fast all your trainers, guys. Because Incense makes you see a lot more Pokemon. You don't even have to walk, the Pokemon just come right to you and Lucky Egg will give you double experience bonus. Now we have to remember, as you see new Pokemon, you do earn 500 experience. So many people have reached level 4 and 5 in just a couple of hours. Now I don't know if this experience rate will continue, but guys, using a combination of incense with Lucky Egg in the beta has reached people to level 4 and 5 in just a couple of hours. Well guys, charge attack has also changed a little bit. Now we have bars for charge attacks. Now as we've seen from before, we actually seen 2, 3, and 4 charge bars for the individual Pokemons. But now, as you can see from these pictures, you have 5 charges and 1 charge. Now guys, this is how it works. Your charge attack, as soon as each one of those bars fill up, you already can use a charge attack. Now those Pokemon with many charge bars, even though they are easier to use a charge attack, they have a lot less power. Once you have the Pokemons with 1 or 2 charge bars, as soon as they are filled and you do make a good hit on a Pokemon, so let's say you have a type advantage, it's almost a guaranteed kill. So even though they do take a lot more time to get to it, you do do a lot more damage. So having a combination of different charge bars is very interesting for the game. Another very cool feature you guys probably know is that Night Mode is implemented in Pokemon Go. But now it seems to be working very well. This guy was playing Pokemon Go. As soon as it screen turned black for the Night Mode, a Zubat appeared. So it wasn't in range and then all of a sudden as soon as it turned into Night Mode, a Zubat appeared. So maybe guys, we are going to get different types for Pokemons at night than the day. Also the very fun fact here is that the spawn areas seem to have each an individual theme. Now guys, as you go to different spawn areas, you find the same Pokemon over and over. So as you know, you just have one little spawn area by your house, you go there and you will see the same Pokemons over and over. So this will make it very interesting for you to visit different spawn areas. So as you can see from the pictures, spawn areas are all over the place and you will need to visit different areas. And also guys, a very great advice here is use your headphones because you can hear the Pokemon before you even see it. Rattatas are all over the place and you can hear them all over. This will guide you to tell you which direction to head and if you're going on the right place. Now as we knew from before, Rattatas, Magnemites, Meow, those are very common Pokemons. Abras and Pikachus are also showing up a lot. And the very new exclusive thing you can get from this beta is Team Up. You can now go into an enemy gym, team up with one of your friends and beat that gym battling with more than one user. Now guys, I have the beta testers going out and trying to team up with different teams and I'll bring you the confirmation by tomorrow. I want to know if, let's say you're a blue team, you're battling against a red team, can you team up with a yellow team? Now, I don't know the answer yet, but this will be confirmed by tomorrow for sure. There is happening a gathering with a lot of Pokemon beta testers today 
on the beach and they're gonna share many information with us and they're gonna team up and they're gonna take a gym so we might know how many players can get on the team up and also if you can get different teams against the enemy team so this was a short report this is only day one guys I will bring you a lot more information as soon as the day go on so stay tuned follow the channel please subscribe brand new information every day I thank you all and train on